Hello friends, in this video I am going to elaborate airborne transmission of COVID-19 and the possible strategies to avoid COVID-19 pandemic. I am Sanjeev Sarkar from Scholar Sanjeev Way to Life. We amplify your scientific knowledge with research based videos. If you are new here, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to receive new updates of my videos. ago, an eminent Indian biologist and CEO of Welcome Trust DBT India Alliance, Dr. Shahid Jamil told that COVID-19 positive cases would be 140 million, that is 14 crore, in India in September 2020, because COVID-19 is an airborne disease. Two 39 scientists from the different countries of the world wrote a commentary on it is time to address airborne transmission of COVID-19 and publish it in Infectious Disease Society of America Journal. So let's jump into detail. Airborne disease is any disease which can be caused by pathogens like virus, bacteria, fungi that can be transmitted through air over time and distance. The examples of airborne diseases are measles, mumps, influenza, tuberculosis, and so on. Recently, COVID-19 is added in this list. If you go to 102 years back, that is in 1918, an influenza pandemic, popularly known as Spanish flu, emerged. The suspected infected cases were 500 million, that is one third of the total world population at that time and fatality case was 50 million that is 10 percent of the infected patients similar kind of cytokine storm had been detected in covid 19. however the death rate of the covid 19 is low compared to kind flow covid 19 pathogen can be spread through speaking coughing sneezing and any other means that can produce air loss Aerosols are minor suspension of liquid or solids that suspend in gas with a particle diameter 0.001 to 100 micrometer. The size of the viral aerosol is 0.04 to 0.6 micrometer. Most importantly, during speaking, we produce thousands of aerosols with a diameter of 1 to 100 micrometer. According to a research article which is published in Deputy Scientific Journal PNAS, one COVID-19 patient can emit more than 100,000 aerosols per minute during their speaking. Moreover, the aerosols whose size around to 1 to 30 micrometer can spread COVID-19 virus, that is SARS-CoV-2. Depending on the size, aerosols can settle down on the surface or it can stay in air for long period of time. If the aerosol size is around 1 micrometer, then it can stay in air for 12 hours. Whereas the size of the aerosol is 3 micrometer, it can float in air for one and a half hours only. So larger aerosols settle down quickly on the substratum. The aerosols whose size is below 5 micrometer, these aerosols can contain viral RNA and have the ability to infect other. 5 micrometer aerosols can travel 10 meter, which is a larger than a typical room. Research has shown that uh, the confined ICU room is more contagious than the open world of the hospitals. As of now, COVID-19 vaccine is not available to us and we cannot confine ourselves to our home. What are those possible strategies by which we can avoid COVID-19 infection? Please keep the doors and windows open at your workplace. Please wear three-layer face masks, especially when you are 
outside the home or at workplace, which can protect you from coronavirus infection. If N95 mask is not available, and then you can use cloth mask or surgical mask. Please use washable mask, then the environmental pollution will be very less. Please do exercise for 30 minutes at least in a day. Take balanced diet with lots of vegetables and fruits. Sound sleep for 6 to 8 hours. And drink plenty amount of water that is 2.7 liter to 3.7 liter per day. Don't unmask yourself at workplace because you don't know who is asymptomatic patient. Do not work out in any place. Don't compromise with your sleep, exercise and balanced diet. Don't touch your mouth, nose and eyes with your hand. And please do not use the same mask again and again without proper washing and sanitizing. Last but not the least, don't wear mask during vigorous exercise like running, cycling, cardio and so on. Thank you very much for patient listening. If you do not subscribe yet, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you again on my next videos. Till then, take care. Bye bye.